Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we're going to be doing a makeup tutorial. You know what I noticed? I always say we. Like, I'm the only one doing this right now. So, I don't really know why I say we. But it's just me. Sorry if I'm at an awkward angle. I have a bun in my hair right now. But honestly, we don't both fit in the frame. So it's either going to be my face or my bun. And I kind of chose my face. This is my first introduction to fall makeup tutorial. Well, not really. The last one I did was in Spanish, but this is my first one in English, and I wanted to do something a little bit more soft, not something so intense, just because not everybody likes to use really, really intense, harsh colors on the eyes. Obviously, you can modify the lips to your liking. This is actually what I'm comfortable with, but if you want to do something light, do you, girl. I will be bringing you guys some more intense makeup tutorials throughout the season, but yeah, I hope you guys like this tutorial, and if you want to see how to get this makeup look, then please keep watching. To start off the makeup look, I'm going to be putting concealer under my eyes. I normally put the concealer on after foundation, but today my bags were looking ridiculous as you can tell. So I'm going to be concealing under my eyes first and then I'm going to use a little bit of this concealer as a primer. And then I'm just going to blend that out with my finger. For this, I'm going to be using the Maybelline Better Skin Concealer. These are not too old. They're actually new in the drugstore, and I really, really have been loving them. I think it has awesome coverage, awesome color payoff, and it is just an overall really, really good concealer. And here, I'm just going to just set the concealer with a little bit of Anastasia Banana Powder. I didn't show the clip of it. And then for the foundation, I'm going to be using the same foundation. Um, it's going to be the Maybelline Better Skin. And I forgot the shade that I'm in, but I will have that listed down below. I didn't think it was my color at first, but it actually did blend out very well. It looked very dark for me, but I do tend to use foundations that are darker um, in my face and that match my neck. Just because that's how I feel I get the best color payoff. Because I don't want to look like a freak with a white face and then a tan body. So I normally have to just go a few shades darker for the face. Next, I'm just going to be doing my eyebrows off camera. For that, I used the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz and Medium Brown. Going in with the Morphe 350 palette, I'm going to be using this like light brownish beige shade. And I'm just going to be putting it into my crease with a Real Techniques brush. I'm just going to be buffing it in just as a transition shade. Next, for layering purposes, I'm going to be going in with this other beige color. It's a little bit darker than the one I first applied. This is just for layering purposes. I'm just trying to slowly and gradually deepen up the colors so it's not like light beige and then like boom, like red. You know, I want it to be very gradual. I'm going in with this brownish reddish shade. I'm going to be putting that into my outer corner and I'm just going to start by packing it in the outer corner and then taking it inward. Just so you have the most intensity in the outer corner. I'm using a Morphe M433 for this. And yeah, I'm just going to put it in the outer corner and then take it inward. Just make sure that you have a lot of intensity in the outer corner. Take it in and just kind of like buff it out so it looks very nice and gradual. This color is very similar to Makeup Geek's Cocoa Bear where it's that like reddish brownish color. I'm going to be taking this fluffy blending brush and I'm just going to be kind of like buffing out the color so you have a nice distribution of color throughout the whole entire eye. Going in with this reddish taupey, god I don't know how to explain colors, I don't know what color this is guys honestly, it's like a reddish terracotta looking color and I'm just going to be using the M433 again and this one is going to be packed more so on the outer corner versus the inner corner. I'm just going to be focusing that there. Now I'm just going to be taking this like frosty whitish shade and I'm just going to be putting that into the inner corner slash like the first half of the lid and then I'm just going to be doing some mascara for that. I'm going to use the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara. Does anybody else have the toughest time closing this mascara? I swear the wand is like so flimsy it won't go into the tube. It ugh, so aggravating. Also, I'm going in with Ardell's Demi Wispies. I love these. These are super natural but they're still super pretty and understated. They add such a flirty look. If this happens to you and you get a little bit of mascara on your face, don't worry girl, I got you with a beauty hack for this. 
And now I'm just going to be tight lining my eyes with a little bit of black eyeliner. This is from my Ipsy bag. It's a Duché one. I'll list it down below. But this is the hack. You just got to take a cute tip, a dry one, wait till it's completely dry, and then just dust it off. It comes right off. Now I'm just going to be putting some more concealer in a more heavy way though. I'm going to be putting it in a triangle shape and then I'm just going to be blending that out with my finger first just to warm it up and then I'm going to take the Morphe G2 brush and just finish blending it out. To set that concealer, I'm going to be going in with Lyric from the Kat Von D palette, which is that yellowish, banana-ish shade. And I'm just going to be putting that under my eye. For the waterline, I'm going to be going in with this Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Crayon. I like it way more for the waterline instead of the brows. It's just a perfect flesh tone nude color to put on the waterline. Going in with this Tristeek eyeshadow pencil, I'm just going to be laying that down on my lower lash line as a base for the next color that I'm going to be going in with. Going in with this beautiful gold color from the 350 palette and a little bit of Fix Plus, Fix Plus, Fix Plus on the brush, I'm going to be putting that on my lower lash line on top of the eyeshadow pencil that I just used. It's not super vibrant, but yet I still think it gives it kind of like a nice little, little touch, a little something, something. And then I'm just going to be putting some more mascara on my lower lashes. This is the L'Oreal Telescopic once again. For bronzer, I'm going to be using the Kat Von D Shade and Light Contour Palette. Surprise, surprise. And for that, I'm going to be using Sombre and Shadow Play. Those are the two colors from the palette that I'm going to be using to bronze. For blush, I'm going to be using this bronzer. This is from City Color and this is a very beautiful, beautiful bronzer. Um, I am using it as a blush just because it has a little bit of a reddish tone, perfect for a blush today. I'm going to be going in with Mary Lou and I'm just going to be using this to highlight the tops of my cheekbones, the bridge of my nose, above my eyebrows, on my chinny chin chin, on my cupid's bow, you know, the whole shebang, the whole nine. I want to look like a disco ball. Give it to me. Yes, yes. Although, let me just say, you're not supposed to look this glowy in the fall, but whatever. We're breaking rules today. We're breaking them. Moving on to lip liner, I'm going to be using Rock and Rose from Jordana. I have been absolutely loving this lip liner. It's just like the perfect... Oh, perfect. That's it. Perfect. I'm going to be going in with Kat Von D's Lolita. This is just like the perfect fall color. I mean, I swear to God, I'm probably going to do every single tutorial with this color because I just love it so much. So that pretty much concle completes. Okay. All right. Time to go. That pretty much concludes this makeup tutorial. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Bye.